me speed race. They call me speed race. See me speed race. See me speed race. Hop in the range. Hop in the range. Take off in the space. Take off in the space. Hey guys, it's CB Gray coming to you guys live with another Destiny video. How are you guys doing today? So in today's video, we're going to be talking about five really cool emblems I think you should get before Beyond Light because there's a lot of time still. We have a little over a week and I know a lot of people are telling you to get exotics. They're telling you to get your materials and all these different prep things that are great advice. But what you should also do if you have a tiny little bit of free time is go get these emblems we're about to talk about. A lot of people always ask, what are the emblems I have on? And then I tell people that you can get them, but there's not much time left to get them. So we're just going to go ahead and talk about it. Hopefully it's helpful. If it is, hit the like button. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe. We'd love to have your beautiful faces. Thank you so much. We're almost at 75,000 subscribers. So thank you for supporting your friendly neighborhood potato and comment in the comment section below. What are you most looking forward to in Beyond Light? All right, here we go. So you're going to be fast traveling to the Sunken Isles in the EDZ and you're going to be driving over to Valunder Forge first. I know a lot of people probably already know where Valunder Forge is, but for the sake of recap sake, if anybody doesn't, we're gonna drive over to Vlunder Forge right now. Fast forward this if you already know how to get there. Be wondering, I already know about the Vlunder Forge. We've done a ton of forges. What else could possibly be in the forge room that I'm not already aware of? And what you might not have known is if you do put on your black armory weapons, so I recommend making sure you snag your Tatarus Gaze, your Spiteful Fang, and your Hammerhead. What you might not have known is that all across this forge, there's secret symbols that you can shoot in certain orders and stand in certain places in order to get three really cool emblems. And there's also these really cool ghosts in the corner of the forge that you can also scan once you're done in order to make this happen. And so I'm not gonna show the exact sequence for the three of these codes because there are three unique codes in Crest that you can acquire that will give you three different emblems. But I did wanna take you to the forge, show you, and I'm gonna link you how to get all three of these emblems because they're three really, really long sequences and I don't wanna bog you down with exactly all of the symbols on each one, but for any one that you might be interested in, I recommend you going for it. There's the Mayron's Vision, which is one that you can do for one of the sequences. There's also the Sato Secret, which is another sequence that you can go ahead and get with the uh, weapons equipped as well. And then the last one is the Rasmussen's Gift. So these are three of my favorite emblems in the game that all can be required, uh, excuse me, can all be acquired within Valunder's Forge just from shooting into three different sequences. So what I'm going to do is in the pinned comment, I'm going to have a link to any of these sequences that you want to go seek out. I figured that for any of the ones that you didn't have, I wouldn't bog you down. I would just provide you with links for exactly with where to go if you're interested in any of these three emblems. If you do get them, let me know in the comments how you uh, think of the emblem and if you already knew that this existed or if this was something that kind of you forgot about or maybe you just never knew existed. The next emblem that we're gonna be talking about is in Niobe Labs and no, we're not talking about Niobe Labs. I know a lot of people already kind of know about Niobe Labs and what it can give. It can give you the Armory Forge shell and it can give you the emblem known as Hubris of Niobe. Also very, very popular and really, really cool, but there's also another secret within Niobe Labs that might not be so obvious, and that's what we're gonna be talking about today. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is show you how to get to Niobe Labs first. For anybody who might not be familiar, once again, fast forward this if you need to, and I'll see you in Niobe. All right, so now that we are in Niobe, what you probably already knew is that there's a really hard escape room activity called Niobe Labs that you can get the emblem and the ghost from. What you probably didn't know is there's another quest directly kind of tied to Izanagi's Burden that can allow you to get another really cool emblem 
if you uh, are interested in potentially getting it. And so, what you may have noticed when you were going for the Izanagi's Burning Quest, if you happen to be going for it, is that there was another quest that you were given once you opened up the mysterious box called the Mysterious Data Pad. And so what goes on with the Mysterious Data Pad is if you come into Niobe Labs, the same symbols that you shot in Niobe, believe it or not, you can actually shoot these in a sequence to also start another secret mission. So the first thing you need to do though, is if you have the mysterious data pad, you start the activity by pulling down the switch. So I've already done this, so I can't pull the switch, but you're gonna go ahead and pull the switch. And then once again, I'm gonna link you exactly everything for the mysterious data pad. But just like before, you're gonna shoot the uh, symbols in a certain order is gonna be how it starts. Um, like I said, I'm gonna link it. And then after you shoot all the sequences, um, the last thing you're gonna shoot is this black armory symbol that used to not be under here but now it's going to be it'll be in this area right here obviously i can't see it because i haven't started the mission but it'll end with a symbol that's right here and you'll go ahead and shoot that and you'll need to have the totterer's gaze you'll need to have the spiteful fang and you'll need to have the hammerhead to be able to shoot all these what's gonna end up happening after is three taken bosses are gonna um, spawn that you can only break their shield if you have these Nagi's Burden and shoot them with it. So what I recommend is have at least one person on your team that has the weapon if you're going to do this. It doesn't necessarily have to be you. You don't have to have obtained the uh, the weapon yet in order to do it. And so once you complete it and kill all those bosses and those enemies, there'll be a chest that spawns right here. Like I said, I'm going to link this again for anybody who needs it. And then once you do that, there's going to be another step that requires you to complete all the forges with all black armory uh, armor on and all black armory weapons on so you can get the armor by uh, picking up the 801 um, items that uh, allow you to get a um, armor piece every time you do a, for a frame so I'd recommend doing that if you don't already have all your black armory armor I believe that some scourge of the past stuff works for that step but don't quote me on that but it's something that you can definitely try um, and then once you finish that step or you complete the forges with uh, the armor on you will get this emblem and like I said, I'll link you the guide to this as well so you can get the exact details on it. But that's for the Obsidian Dreams. So love Obsidian Dreams. It's another really, really good one. And um, I think you guys will like it as well. A lot of people always ask, um, where in the world did I get this emblem? And it's really, really cool. Not only do you get the emblem for it, but also another really cool thing as well. And I'm going to just cut the scene to this. But 801 also uh, looks Ultra Instinct. And I'm going to go ahead and skip to that. And so as you can see, look at 801, she is completely glowing. You get a small short cutscene when you do complete this as well and go back to her. And as you can see, she's no longer normal Ada. She is Ultra Instinct Ada is what I always will refer to it as. But um, it's really, really cool. Another really uh, interesting piece. I know she's only going to be here for another about week, but if you do want to experience this and see the cutscene for yourself, there is a tiny little bit of time. Go ahead and get on it. Uh, and yeah. And so the final thing that I want to talk about, as you probably already know, Outbreak Perfected is going away here in just a little bit. And a lot of people have been really working really hard to get their zero hour heroics done and to get their uh, normal zero hours done from starting on the farm once you uh, get the quest done. I'll link the quest just in case anybody needs to start it and uh, needs a guide on how to get this started. But what you probably already knew is you can get the Outbreak Perfected. What you probably already knew is you can get the Catalyst through the... Uh, um, heroics, you probably already knew about the configurations that can get you the uh, exotic ship, the scrap. But what you might not have known, because it's every time I hear everybody talking about it, it's either going for the ship, or going for the catalyst, or going for the weapon. What some people don't talk about is also the secret emblem that was obtainable within the uh, Outbreak Perfected mission as well. If you finish Outbreak Perfected with five minutes remaining, or with at least five minutes re remaining, you can get the Quarantine Zone um, emblem, which uh, its name is kind of, I guess, in time with the times. But um, yeah, so you can go ahead and get this, and um, it's another really cool one. It's going to be available for another about week and a couple days, so I recommend going for it. So get in the comment section below, guys. Let me know which emblems you already had, and let me know which emblems you were missing. Also, I hope you had the happiest of Halloweens uh, for anybody who celebrated Halloween yesterday. And I hope you ate some candy, and I hope you watched some scary movies. I love you guys so much. We are almost at Beyond Light. Like I said, I'm so grateful for the support. So grateful for everybody who made it to the end. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Thank you again, everybody liked and, um, 
and just always says such oh say such positive things in the comment section know that it warms my heart i love you guys and i'm gonna talk to you guys in the next destiny video thanks i love you guys my face is equipped they shot still live take out the coin then i flip out the coin then i flip. pull out the thorn then it's real the thorn, dragon tattooed on my hip invading like my name is zim dunking these most like a rim yes i am harder than shin making you pay for your sins the drift of the nine yeah i'm rolling with them no, i feel incredible no i'm not regular stand on the pedestal joke is why when he's off of his medicine for my squad i go all like an animal by guns got your head on the red up no trust you need to go level a man down but no i'm not giving up i think that i said enough.